Welcome back. We're going to continue playing this uh, cooking game where we left off. And uh, hopefully we still got the save slot. We do. We've decorated our unit, so it should look pretty nice. Uh, this is the most recent patch, 2.6. I think it's been a few years since the developer stopped patching this game and focused on patching the sequel. Uh, but okay. This patch include a Sopapilla prep phase, support for custom holding station item keys. That's nice. Um, additional keyboard options? I think I did peruse those at some point. That's oh, been too long. Uh, but yeah, they gave away so many free updates in this game, it's kind of fantastic. But yeah, let's just continue with the Zen mode in our tower here. Um, I did purchase some food item right before the end of last stream, right? So we got chicken, we got eggs, pretzels. Let's, uh, we'll start with the fountain drink. That's fine. Yeah, let's have a new day. And as always, we start the day. Ooh, today's goal is a 17x combo. Uh, we're on our way to perfect days. That's funny, I missed a perfect day, so this ob objective of six perfect days... I mean, it does build on our previous objective, but... Yeah, anyway, let's do our best. So it's tab one to start with the holding station one. Um start our eggs. A to start the eggs. Alright. Holding station 2. Let's put some pretzels out there. Holding station 3. Let's add some macaroni. And holding station 4. Some classic pretzel. No, more German pretzel. Hopefully people like German pretzels. Alright. Now, I hope this guy wants German pretzels, because for whatever reason, the game didn't let me make both kinds. There we go. Nice. Oh, my macaroni wasn't ready yet. So folks just came to get a pretzel and left. No tips. All right. I forgot how tricky some of this could be. Now the other thing not to do here, you don't want to serve raw chicken. Or raw anything, really. Um, so in Zen mode, customers will wait forever for you to start prepping their order. But you still can't light their food on fire or undercook it, but they're still a bit picky about that. I'm curious why customers ask for certain cuts of chicken. Oh, dunk it. Right, I can't just like put it in the bin and just leave it there. I have to actually dunk the bin for it to begin cooking. Maybe I should have made more macaroni. I didn't realize how long that takes to make. Take care of the soft drinks. Alright, then let's make some more. And then let's prep some more pretzels. Sadly, there's no bonus for fast service. Not that we need it. So I'm 
I'm trying to think of what's new in the world. Oh, that's right. Uh, the Woogles site, or that is the OMG words site, woogles.io, where you can play crisscross words or variants thereof. Um, they have their own Monday Night Blitz tournament. You should check that out at some point. Even if it's usually over my head, it's fun to see the players uh, live stream their attempts to play the game. But yeah, to learn uh, how to play OMG words, you gotta learn a lot of words both in the North American word list um, and the International Dictionary. Alright, hang on. Gotta prepare some macaroni. Uh, perhaps I should move that portrait in the upper left. It's a bit distracting. Of course. Um, that's fun, I can alternate those. So let me see. Yeah, so... Uh, order number one. Okay, it's ready. So I did read that correctly, that the thing where they had, like, eggs on the one dish and macaroni on the other, it was actually an eggs order. Oh yeah, it's a great game. Oops, this has got to go. Uh, I especially like that it does have this mode, where you could just play it at your own pace. I know, like, one of the selling points of the game is how action-packed it is. And that could be... I, I did play the original game. For whatever reason, I chose to use a controller, because I'm just tired of typing on a keyboard all day. Um... But, yeah, actually a keyboard is a decent controller, as long as you don't play the game for too long. Yep, that's pretty original. Good luck getting repeat customers that way. Do I want to wait for the macaroni to be ready before I serve this guy? Or person? Yeah, why not? Macaroni's almost done. They'll pay me extra for macaroni. So, yeah, let's serve him. Here you go. Uh, I didn't realize, just... I wonder if the weather on this day is such that people just want that dish. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with eggs, but still. That's a lot of demand for eggs. Alright, so we want to prepare some more eggs.
This person wants four fried chickens and a Coke. It's a quote from a famous old movie. Um, oh, so that's ready. Oh, I couldn't really see that chore number two. It kind of blended in the background. It's pretty unfortunate. Make some more macaroni. I'm surprised that we have we need to have these traps here on some floor way up in the building. Patience, please. Get your macaroni with your order. There we go. Hooray! A perfect day complete. Another perfect day. <laughs> Wait, okay, that kind of looked like it was torn up at first. Um, oh. A 3D blue water sphere. Marina art... Yeah, I'd like to actually add the marina. I think that could look nice. Uh, on my already busy uh, setup here. Let's see, where do we go back into designer mode? Uh, I have to go back to campaign, and then not food catalog. Here's designer mode. And then we can choose whatever. Uh, create, edit, edit. Here we go. Uh, wow. Oh, whoops, edit's the wrong button. I want to add more stuff. Next, designer, edit, time of day. Grid mode, create. Okay, yeah. I want to add some of the artwork that we just got. People, places. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, this is a nice little marina here. I think the color does well. Here, I don't know that this fits anywhere in my layout. Otherwise, it'd be fun to stick somewhere, but I don't think it fits. Yeah, it doesn't... You can't really see it that well. Um, I could stick that back here or something. But it, it just... Adjust, or against this enormous window. It just doesn't work that well. Oh, abstract art. <laughs> that don't fit. It's too big. Alright. Let's a little zoom out. I think that's nice and good. Okay, let's check our messages. That's not our messages. Where's our messages? Tutorials? Emails? All right. Rescued shortly after Oregon descended into the ocean, this uniform was famously worn by Chef Rosotto during his historic 2025 television spectacular. Even the event even saw Chef Rosotto break the world record for the most cannoli prepared in 10 minutes, rocketing him to fame and fortune and cementing his place as the most beloved chef of the 21st century. That that's a nice garment. It really is. Uh, dear fans and supporters of the loss of labor pro loss lost of labor project, we've had a lot of questions when donators will be getting their perks, and I can say with confidence that I have no idea at this time. Ideally, I would, but I've been so busy rolling around in all this cash you just threw at me, I haven't gotten around to planning the logistics of getting rewards to your beautiful faces. Don't fret, though. You threw enough cash at me that I can afford to hire someone to figure it out out for me. This train just won't stop. Alright. Moving forward, Team Turmoil. Hi, everyone. As you all know, our game has been out for three days now. Our, our reviews have been less than stellar. Let it be known that I will personally punch everyone who had the audacity to give our game less than a 9 out of 10. Uh, unfortunately, the game hasn't sold as well as expected, 
and after such a long development cycle, is unlikely to turn a profit. As such, the studio will be downsizing, and only development leads will maintain their jobs. Everyone else will be relinquished come Thursday. To those who complain that you've been seeing your children grow up, or you, you've missed seeing your children grow up thanks to our ludicrous 17-hour days, now is your chance to spend all the time in the world with them. Best Brett. Founder, director, and king of, tur king of Team Turmoil Games. P.S. Please don't key my new sports car on the way out. They're closing down the men's restroom until they can get the toilets working again. We've made arrangements to use the restroom of the business four floors above us, though the elevator is also out of order, so you have to use the stairs. Dash Dennis. P.S. Leo, I noticed you enjoyed all of my homemade triple jalapeno bean dip. I can make you some if you like, but please refrain from taking food with my name on it in the future. Oh, way to go, Dennis. Thank you for your fair and equal treatment. I'd like to thank you for treating all of your patrons equally. Just because I can't afford to live on the upper floors of Terrigan Tower doesn't mean I should be treated any less respectively than those who can. Uh, if anything, those jerks up there should be treated like the jerky jerks that they are. I'm glad to see I'm not alone. They're such jerks. Whatever. Wise words with Bronco Moisley, number 724. If at first you don't succeed, destroy all evidence you ever tried and never speak of it again. Well, that's quippy. I think I've heard that before. But... Right, let's prep something else today, just for variety's sake. Oh yeah, breakfast sandwiches are kind of nice. Yeah, people are digging the eggs, though. And the macaroni. Um, I think cereal could be a nice alternation, or alternative. Sunny day. What do we make on a sunny day? I don't know if my choice of food affects um, how likely people are to come. Oh, it's a sunny day, we're gonna have a soda fountain then. Let's do it. Yeah. I think this studio had a script writer, comes up with all the funny writing. So the folks developing the software aren't the same guys who have to come up with all the humor. Um, they work well together, that's for sure. Alright, let's stick some macaroni out there. Uh, holding station 2. Okay, you want German pretzels. Holding station 3. Holding station 4 is going to be more German pretzels. Hopefully, like, people enjoy German pretzels. Alright, you want egg, bacon, cheese, and a biscuit. It's pretty normal. You want juicy ooze, milk, and strawberries. That's nice and simple, too. I get the sense that I gave myself too much to think about here. But at least I don't have to worry about uh, them getting impatient, waiting for their order. I just have to worry about messing up the orders. Chocolate chips. Or chocolate crisps. Milk and blueberries. Nice. I don't understand what's with people getting, like, computer games or video games where, it, by design, you're supposed to panic as you're playing the game. Um, I mean, there's so many games like that that all have these reaction-based, timing-based aspects to them. It does seem to get a bit tiresome after a while.
Alright. Yeah, maybe pretzels is not the best choice on a sunny day. I mean, it is good carnival food or whatever. Uh, H for chocolate crisps. Milk. L for blueberry. Does that make sense? funny they even take the older macaroni servings. Holding Station 1 I think was prepared most recently and yet they keep taking from Holding Station 3. Um. Also I struggle to imagine like what the mental state of this chef must be. That they see the world in keystrokes. And, like, they could accidentally pick out bananas instead of blueberries or something. Like, but they could be so confused about... I wonder what it'd be like to be a person taking the orders from the customers and writing it down and giving it to the chef. As opposed to being the chef that does all this uh, work. Uh... Huh, all cereals seem to have milk with them. We don't seem to have, like, almond milk or soy milk or whatever. Oh, right, man. More macaroni. Man, everybody's doing games right now. Uh, croissants are... Yeah, I can see, like, folks are playing OMG words, they're playing shogi, they're playing... Um, I mean, presumably chess players are always doing what they've always been up to, but... And then there's other team of, like, voice actors. Um... They're doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke thing. And their team goes by the name Save Data Team. I don't know why... I mean, they do a whole bunch of tech conversation. Tech adjacent stuff too, where they just talk about what the latest games are. And what games they enjoy or didn't enjoy or what have you. Um, I find that entertaining, perhaps informative. Um, Uh, classic pretzel, there we go. You want eggs first, and then bacon, and then cheese, and then a biscuit. Okay. This is an egg deluxe. I was confused, like, where the base meat, like the ham or other thing went. Uh, chocolate crisps, and milk. But apparently with an egg deluxe sandwich, you just start with the egg. Oh, uh, this ran out of macaroni. Uh, sunset looks so nice. Something about just this combination of the trees, the snowman, the balloons. It seems peaceful. Makes me want to relax and rest a bit. Um, See, so yeah, I might uh, wrap it up after this game and see what all the other game players are up to. Uh, J for Juicios. 
Milk, bananas. There we go. Yeah, at some point, like, if I could change the fonts or get an optical character recognition engine that worked, it would be so amusing to watch uh, some machine learning thing improve at this game uh, over time. I just don't see a practical way to make that happen just yet. But I think... Oh wow, that's a lot of trash. And for a while, I tried to do something similar with uh, the cyberpunk drink game. What was that called? Um, Valhalla. At some point, I tried to make that work. I just couldn't get that character recognition working there either. Okay, wait. We're going to resume day. I... Uh, oh, I see. To abort holding station prep, I just hit the enter key. Oh, we got one hour to go there, but we have eight servings of macaroni, or six servings of macaroni, and we're not going to have six people show up all of a sudden. Um, yeah, if I thought I was going to have more than six customers in the last hour, um, I would prepare more macaroni. I think people will be perfectly happy with this amount of it. Well, it's fun. See the folks hanging out there, taking their time, enjoying their meal. As is their right. Cornflakes, milk, blueberry. Nice. Mission accomplished. We somehow leveled up once more. Uh, got another perfect day, so we get another colored wall. Got another... Oh, that's a cute restaurant table. It's got the little glass top on it. Um, the women's... The first women's basketball league in 1929. Bun Wood A. Whatever this... It seems to be an assortment of wood. A hanging ceiling. Oh, that could really spice up the place. Wall sprays. Like, spray that onto the glass or something? Hanging ceiling light? That's... that's actually fairly fancy. I wonder if that costs an arm and leg to deploy. More colored walls. Wait. Monday's art foods. Yum level 4 achieved. Entree slots expanded. Wait, does this mean when my custom menu I can like serve more stuff now? I mean, I'm breaking at this point. I'm gonna take a break. And then next time we'll choose what things we add to the menu. But let's just check our messages before we go. Found in the remains of Nevada. High heels like these were popular in the late 1980s. Thanks to their ability to accentuate the appearance of one's calves in exchange for producing... For providing the weather with back pain, foot pain, knee issues, and degenerative joint diseases. High heels went out of vogue in 2029 when it was revealed that many high heel manufacturers were also profiting by selling pain medication. Oh no. Oh, that's horrible and funny. While flats have since taken over as the preferred shoe of choice, high heels remain sought after by collectors of pre 21st century fashion and those with an unhealthy obsession with feet. That is funny. Pairing that with the pain medication. Salutations. I am sad to say that experiments in the creation and the loss of labor have been abysmal, and it seems physically impossible to create. As a result, I've laid off every employee, sold off the rest of the company's assets, and will not be able to deliver any of those rewards to you, my amazing backers, after all. Also, my team of lawyers that I legally have to keep the insane... Oh, also my team of lawyers say that I legally have to keep the insane amount of money you gave me. That all being said, I must say that this is quite the experience. I learned a lot about the blind faith of people and their inability to make sound financial investments, and I hope you all got something out of it as well, even if it was nothing that you paid for. 
If you have further questions, good luck contacting me as I'm deleting all traces of my existence from the internet, changing my name, and retiring on the map on my unmapped private island. Choo choo! The train came off the rails! Okay, they're making fun of Kick Go Go, which is connecting other websites. How to deal with confrontation? From now on, if someone mistakes your food for theirs because they forgot what they packed for themselves on a particular day, and you did a terrible job writing your own name, the proper way to deal with the situation would be to confront them with civility and not to engage in childish and possibly dangerous pranks, which threaten the safety of others in the case of an emergency. Regards, Leo H. I think I broke your restaurant. I don't really know what it was like before, but my mom says it was really nice until I came around. I wanted to apologize for breaking it. Sorry. Prank caller discovered. To all residents of the upper floors, if you'd like the constant prank calling to stop, please meet me outside the restrooms of Cook Serve Delicious with $100 million in cash. I'm not the one doing it, but I figured out who is, and I've calculated that to be the exact amount of money I'll need to get the guilty person out of your lives. Cindy, extension 1008. Alright. Well, that wasn't cynical at all. <laughs> yeah, they always have a fun little twist on things. So next time, we might end up doing one more day next time before we purchase new menu items, but having the new menu item slot is pretty nice. Um, yeah, I like that uh, my uh, my decor here continues to get more and more eccentric. I think the new lighting that they're offering would look quite nice, in fact, so why don't I go add that before I forget. Uh, global lighting, wall lights, ceiling, table lights. Yeah, now we're talking. That fits in. Alright. Ceiling lights, ceiling table lights. Wait, what's the difference here? I could just stick one wherever. Okay, that's too much. Um, yeah, that's so funny. That's way too much. But yeah, the ceiling table lights, that definitely fits in with all my other silly decorations. Um, and then we're going to put in... We collected some historic objects, so let's... I forget what category I would see those in. Um, walls, seating, art. Yeah, historic art objects, or whatever. Oh no, that's not it. Sprays, historical. There we go. Here's some heels. They don't really fit anywhere. They really, really, really don't fit anywhere. Um, they are historic, though, so we kind of have to stick them somewhere. Uh, I guess this will have to do. That looks so weird. Oh, and then we got Chef Rosotto's uniform. Oh, man. This is taking too much space here. Can we stick it back here, maybe? It's not visible enough. Oh yeah. Chef Risotto's uh, uniform will just be a memory. But yeah, I think our place is really shaping up. So, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. And um, yeah, this again is Zen mode. For those unfamiliar with the thing in Zen Mode, the feature of Zen Mode is that you can play the game and customers will just wait forever for you to prepare their order. It doesn't allow you to mess up their order, but it just reduces the pressure so you don't have to worry about getting their order out on time. You just have to make sure you don't burn it. So don't take on too many difficult orders at once, lest you burn something. Um, and that's... I kind of wish the original game had that feature with Zen Mode. I think the sequel to this also has that feature. And if so, I'll have to take a look because the recipes and... I'm sorry, all the foods and art descriptions, everything in the sequel 
The Quick Serve Delicious 3 looks absolutely fantastic and glorious. So, um, yeah, I'm debating also maybe next time, maybe I might actually venture out and start doing some of these things. Maybe start with like Chili Bowl or something. I don't know. Try to start and do something simple out there, because there's a whole bunch of these restaurants. I don't know if I even want to do all of them, but uh, staying cooped up in this tower obviously has given me some degree of cabin fever. If it's not obvious, it should be. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Yeah, it's been a while since I've made time for this sort of gaming, separate from all the coding and gaming and board gaming and stuff that like I've been doing, so... Might not dwell too long on this. Might be going back to other games soon, so please be patient. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.